last year I rode up in the boat for the first time and I thought that I came to an island. What makes it most special, I think, is the fact that it is isolated. And because of that, it actually makes very interesting interactions between professors and students that don't happen on the main campus. Is this what uh, red spruce should look like? Is this a normal looking red spruce? We're in this wonderful, beautiful environment where we can go off and actually use the surroundings as our laboratory. And if you look at the food web of an aquatic system like this, you rarely see fungi mentioned. I spent two summers just collecting beetles all summer. It was the best part of my project. So this is, this is the place, because you don't get to explore your own mind like you do up here. When I first got here, there was just I just like wanted to do everything. Like I wanted to go hiking, I wanted to go swimming, I wanted to go canoeing. It was hard to pick which activity to do. It feels really great uh, when you get a new bunch of students just arriving, you know, your first day and you see them all coming here and many of them don't know each other. You can see them sort of wandering around, wondering what to do that first afternoon. And one of the great things is to, to watch how that changes. Typically they'll get here and for the first day or two, they're wandering around, you know, looking for the elusive one or two bar of cell signals. There's like a lookout that you can get cell phone reception. And I went there yesterday to watch the sunset and there were like seven or eight people on their cell phones. The isolation can be very good in that you don't have to worry about what's going on at home. Just being away from civilization, I guess it's good because you get to really experience like being outdoors and being away from everybody. I mean like we're canoeing in the middle of class. Yep, that's pretty cool. So this ties to the trap end? Okay. The trap end is, and then that so you guys need one. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. You look out here, there's rarely anyone else besides us. It's probably one of the most pristine and open kind of natural areas you'll find that the ESF has. This is like a great place to spend the heat of the summer. Once they've been here and experienced at least one of our classes here, they love this place. It really changes them. This nest is a little bit different. What, what do you see that's on this nest? Moss. Yeah, lots and lots of moss. It's a little bit like detective work. You get to figure stuff out and like use different parts of your knowledge base. I'm trying to figure out what you know and what you don't. You get to pull a lot of things together. It's not boring. It's exciting because you never know what you're going to find. When I went out on a canoe ride with my friend, I saw a bald eagle in the wild for the first time. We're gonna head out there to see the kingfisher nest. What I try to do is to really get them to have a hands-on experience with the fungi that are here. We've explained what happens with the mushroom. The spore gets catapulted, falls into the turbulent air. What happens in a puffball? It explodes. In most of my classes, on the first day of class, I'll say to students, when I say the word fungus, what do you think of? And many times I get something like, ugh, or, you know. And so people sort of concentrate on the negative, but there's so many benefits from fungi. You know, where would we be without bread, beer, super drugs, you know, things like penicillin. Is there any ecological advantage to grow like that instead of? All of these different forms of producing spores, um, have some sort of evolutionary basis. Let me know if you see anything. So we often end up collecting specimens in the, in the forest that you can hardly see with a hand lens, bringing them back to the lab, back to the classroom, and then using microscopes to actually really get a feeling. We are doing How much fun is that? This much. <laughs> this much fun. I mean, we now have microbiology type classes up here. Believe it or not, students actually do DNA extractions up here. Here we are in the middle of the woods with fairly limited technological equipment, but we can still do this sort of high-tech science. There's Delilah, the, the duck over there, because she ate it in my hand. Oh, there she is right there on the dock. She's awesome. There's Delilah.
I swim every day a number of times. Toss on your swimsuit and jump in the lake anytime you want. It's like bathing. You don't have to worry about anything, you just go in the lake. There's so much here to do. There's definitely learning going on, but we it has a summer camp feel to it because we have enough free time to hang out, play volleyball, and play soccer, and go swimming and go canoeing. The Cranberry Lake Biological Station, in, in my opinion at least, is the jewel in the crown of our field facilities. You know, it's just a, an idyllic location to spend your summer. You know, you're right in the middle of the Adirondacks. It's a beautiful location. They learn a lot about the ecosystem. Take a look at it, touch it, feel it. The exciting part is all the students have two weeks of learning in detail about specific topics, and then they just take what they've learned and make something out of it. I like that you get the whole day to spend on a certain subject. They can only get so much from a book or from, a, from someone like myself. Really, if they're going to understand what's going on out there, they have to get out there and they have to do it themselves. I think I just learned a lot about how to think about research. Personally, I think I've matured a lot. No longer is it, uh, I have to go there and do this course in order to graduate. Now it's, I want to stay here. Can I take another course? After about the first three or four days, and certainly by the time they leave, you know, they really have enjoyed the experience immensely. You know, and most of them regret that they're leaving. Three of my very best friends that I have now, I made last year. And to see, you know, the tears when they all leave, and when someone's leaving before others, maybe they're staying for a second class, and you can see the, the feelings that are really growing in, in the few weeks that they've been here. It's easy to think up here.